Uh, hey guys, this is uh, what uh, a Core i7 2630QM does. And there's no Cinebench on. Okay, it's uh, 798 megahertz, which basically means 8 gigahertz. And uh, it's only pulling around 30 watts. It's doing really well. The multiplier's been reduced all the way to 8. And they say that when it runs on Turbo Boost, it can go all the way up to. 2.6 gigahertz and yesterday when I ran it it was only doing 2 gigahertz and I only got 3.6 points in Cinebench so let's see how it goes this time and uh, we'll be looking taking a close look at this while the Cinebench is still running just to see what kind of what kind of core speed you can get when Turbo Boost turns on if it does all right and uh, I'll be putting the speaker next to the next to the CPU to see how loud it runs Okay, so automatically the clock speed's been turned up to 2.6 gigahertz. So Turbo Boost has been turning on. Sorry, there's no autofocus. But the multiplier's been gone up to 26 at times. So now it's running around that speed. Let's see how it goes. So automatically you can feel the computer's getting louder. And as you can see, of course, I've got multi-threading enabled because it's doing eight boxes at a time, not four. So, seems to be making a fair bit of a difference. Take a look at CPU-Z. Now it's gone down to 2 gigahertz. So much for Turbo Boost. Doesn't work all the time, does it? Well, well. And it works for short amounts of time, I guess. For short boosts. And now for the moment of truth. 4.45 plates. That's a whole point extra from yesterday. So, I don't know what was happening yesterday. It must have been running pretty hard. Um... Yeah, that's definitely a pretty good score then. That's not terrible. That's not as bad as it was yesterday anyway. Right there. Three point six four. That was shit. That was a, that was horrible. So uh yeah, it did a pretty good job this time around. Maybe maybe have a gaming experience will be a little bit better as well. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe here. See you later.